Why? Because you think you're somebody. You think you have, you got identified with an individual. So now you're this individual. This individual is very small. It's a little tiny thing. It's scared of everything. It's very vulnerable. So now you're needy. You're running around trying to beg somebody to give you something because you became an individual. You're needy. You don't know you're the whole thing. So that's what I'm trying to do. I'm trying to wake you up to who you are, to the truth of who you are, because you are the whole thing. You, and everything you need is already within yourself. Nobody in the world can give you what you already have inside yourself. You already have all the answers. You already have all the powers. You were never born to this world and you're never going to die out of it. You're beyond this world. Who you are is beyond. Who you are is complete. Who you are is the source of love and it's beautiful. I wish you could see yourself because when I see you, I see your power i see your love i see your heart pulse i see the light inside you i see it with my eyes but you don't see it so what how what can i do for you to also see yourself so these courses these practices are to, for you to change your perception to recognize who you are. But not, when I say to recognize who you are, I'm not talking about pseudo-spirituality because pseudo-spirituality is all about boosting up your ego. It's all about fortifying the I thought that I am someone Blah, blah, blah. I, my past life, you know, I was Nefertiti. Past life, you know, I come from this lineage of blah, blah, blah. These are all bullshit. These are all to fortify your sense of separation that I am something very special. But now you're talking about the ego. Of course you're special because you're God. But I'm not talking about your individual sense of separation. That one is ugly. That's limited. I'm talking about the truth of who you are. That's what I'm pointing out to. Of course you're special because you're God. What else do you think you are? You are complete, complete. Right now in this moment, you're 100% complete. You don't believe me. You tell yourself, how can I be complete? Because I got all these blah, blah, blah. And then their story comes. Your mind comes with your story and you say it to yourself. So I'm not here to pump you up. You're not at the meeting with the destiny. You're not in a self-empowerment course with me to pump you up. That's not what I'm trying to do, to make you feel good for two days or an hour or two hours. That's not my intention. I want you to realize yourself. And to realize yourself, you have to go beyond the mind. You got to go beyond this mind. This mind is telling you, you are a person with all these needs. You need to go beyond the mind to see yourself, the Atma, the observer, the one who's observing everything. The one who knows everything, the, sen the, the, pre the state of I am, 
when we do the meditation, you're quiet, you're silent, you dive within yourself. There is no thoughts. And then you are complete alignment with the oneness because there is no person there. You become one. Becoming one means that there you, the person you think you are, is not going to be there anymore. It's like I pick up a glass of water. This is a glass of water, right? And I, okay, so this is, this is a person, okay? This is me, Zarathustra. Am I the glass or am I the water? What am I? This is just a container. The glass is a container. The essence is what's in it. So now let me pour this into the ocean. I'm going to pour this to the ocean. So I'm going to pour this water into the ocean. So when I do that, where is Zarathustra? Zarathustra goes back to where he came from. So now he's back into the ocean. Where is the individual now? What happens to the individual? When you die, where do you go? When you sleep and you don't dream, you're not dreaming. There's no mental activity. Activity. So the I thought is not there. Where do you go? When you sleep and you don't dream, where do you go? What happens to you? You go back to your original state. So you're not separated from the oneness because every night you sleep, you go back to it. And when you wake up, the first thought that comes to your mind is, I am, I am John, I am Keith, I am Mary, I am Marit. And then a person comes back. And when the person comes back, the world comes back. And when the world comes back, the problems come back. Do you grog? Does this make any sense? Yeah. So you got to go beyond. You have to go beyond. Into no thoughts. Now, and a part of that is also to disconnect one of the practices I, I, we're going to be doing, which I have to give you these tools, which we're going to be doing in the workshop, is learning to disassociate yourself and disconnect yourself from the world. I know. <laughs> This is very opposite from maybe anyone else tells you. I get it. Can you become disconnected from the world? Disassociating with the world. Not physically. Mentally. Not paying attention to the news. Not paying attention to what's happening. Just not giving a shit about the world. Because that's also an illusion. It's not even real. So your business, you have to be very selfish in this thing. This is where selfishness is a good thing and is going to help you. What kind of spiritual teacher are you, Zarathustra, that teaches selfishness? Well, you have to be selfish. Means what? You disconnect from the world and you bring your attention 
to the self, to the I am. <laughs> 